Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to trade on the BitGet exchange using only your mobile phone. I know a lot of people can't sit in front of their computer all day long and trade from their computer. They need to use their phone. So this is the video for you if you want to learn how to trade on BitGet, both spot and futures with leverage from your mobile phone. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and let the gains be with you. So the first step towards trading on the BitGet exchange from your mobile phone is to make a BitGet account. If you don't already have one, you can go to any of my videos and go to the description and you will see a link to create your BitGet account. This is my affiliate link. I would appreciate if you did use that link. I appreciate your support here on the channel. But once you click on that link, it will take you to this page where you can create an account. No KYC is necessary at all, right? So none of your personal information. All you need is an email address to make your account. Once you do that, you will get inside and we'll take it from there right now. So I'll put my phone screen up on the screen right now so you guys will be able to follow along very easily. But once you create your account, you will be here at the home screen. All right, so at this home screen now, the first thing you're gonna need to do after you create your account is of course fund your account so you have money to trade with. So in order to do that, what you wanna do is on the bottom right of the screen, you will see asset. You wanna click on asset. All right, so you can see this is my futures account, my trading account, but you wanna to go to overview, and here you'll be able to see your entire account balance, okay? So the first thing is first to fund your account, you're most likely gonna be using USDT to trade, so you wanna deposit USDT or Ethereum or Bitcoin, whatever cryptocurrency you already have, you're gonna to wanna to send it in here. I do not personally use BitGet to buy crypto with fiat money, I just use it to trade. All right, so you can buy it on Coinbase or whatever and then send it in here. How to do that, you go to spot on the top, click on spot, and if you wanna send in USDT, well, you wanna find USDT here, it's right here, and you will hit deposit, all right? Here you will select the chain you wanna to deposit to. So TRC20, the Tron blockchain, is the least expensive fees, but there's a ton of options, Arbitrum, Solana, Optimism, Polygon. These are all very low, fee blockchains but anyways if you wanted to use tron you click on tron okay and it'll show your address here if you want to use ethereum you can use ethereum and again it will show your address right here once you do that you can copy the address in the bottom or hit copy over here on the right side of the screen and you can paste that and send it from whatever mobile wallet or crypto wallet you already have where you have your your crypto you send it into bitget now once you do that right once it's in here what you want to do is you want to get your if you only want to trade spot, you can leave it right here in your spot account. But if you want to trade with futures, what you want to do is you want to hit transfer on the bottom. So on the bottom of my screen here, I'm going to hit transfer. And this is how you transfer back and forth between your futures and your spot account. Right, Your futures account is called USDTM. And your spot account is obviously called spot. So if I wanted to, I can move you know 50% of my capital over to my spot account just like so and it's an instant transfer and if i wanted to move it back from spot back to futures i can move it back it's an instant transfer very easy to do so this is how you move money back and forth between your spot and futures account on the mobile app so real quick i'm going to show you how to trade spot all right spot is great for just buying coins to accumulate them uh, for the long term etc so on the bottom of your screen you will see spot this is the second one to the left all the way from the right if that makes sense it shouldn't be too confusing but click on spot at the bottom of your screen. From here, it will have all the spot pairs. So let's say you, have, you wanna buy Ethereum with USDT, right? We have USDT right now in our spot wallet. So now we wanna pick our order type. There's limit orders, market orders, or trigger orders. Very simply, I'm just gonna show you how, you how to use limit and market orders. Market orders fill you at the exact market price. All right, so as you can see here on the screen, the market price is $1,597. So if I did a market order, I'll hit buy at the top. You can switch between buy and sell, but I can hit buy. And if I wanted to use, looks like I don't have any funds here. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of funds and we'll put, we'll put like $10 just to do an order. Okay, so if I wanted to move, so again, I want to pick my futures to spot. If I wanted to put $10 over, I can just switch over $10. And it'll be there in my spot account now. 
there it is, it shows up. So if I wanted to buy $10 of ETH at the market rate, I would just hit market order here, not limit market order. And I would say I wanna use all $10 or 100%. I can just type 10 here and I could hit buy ETH, okay? And immediately I'm gonna get that Ethereum in my account. As you see, I just get a notification that that went through. Okay, so now I can go back to spot and if I wanted to sell that at a market order, I can hit sell and I can go ahead and sell the ETH right back into USDT. So this is how you easily get back and forth spot between the cryptos that you wanna buy and sell. Now if I wanted to use a market order, which I recommend because you won't be paying fees, is you can go ahead and select the price that you wanna buy or sell it at. So let's say that you wanted to buy Ethereum at 1500 because right now it's $1,597. You would hit limit order, then in this price box, you say you, the price you wanna buy it at is $1,500. And then here you wanna say you wanna buy with all of your USDT, you wanna use that $10. You hit buy ETH, you confirm. Now it shows up in my open orders category. I have a limit order right here that will trigger when the price is $1,500, I'm gonna buy $10 worth of Ethereum, all right? And once I have that, if I wanted to sell it, let's say I bought it at 1500 and I wanna sell it at 2000, so I would hit limit order 2000. So you would put in here at the price box. This is the first box you can fill out that you wanna sell it at 2000. And now here on the second box where it says ETH, you would put in the amount of Ethereum you actually wanted to sell. So if you had one whole Ethereum you wanted to sell at $2,000, you would put one here and you would get $2,000 in your spot account. So this is how you trade spot, very simple, all right? That should help you guys out, should teach you how to trade on spot. Now I'm gonna show you how to trade on futures, which is a little more detailed. So I'm just gonna transfer this back into my futures trading account. Now, let's see if that went through properly. Okay, yeah, so as you see here, there's, there's $10,000 in here. Uh, I personally don't recommend, especially if you're brand new, to keep $10,000 in your trading account. If you only had $10,000 to trade, what I would say to do is split it up between five accounts, 20% in each. So you would put $2,000 into five accounts. This way you're not tempted to blow all 10K on one trade and potentially lose it all. You need to manage your risk if you're gonna be trading with leverage or else you are at risk of losing all of your capital. Trading with leverage is very high risk. I don't recommend it for anybody who is brand new. You need to properly educate yourself on how to trade before you do this, especially if you do use leverage. If you were brand new, it's probably better you stick with spot. But if you wanna learn and apply yourself, certainly leverage is a very lucrative way to make a lot of money trading. And I have a lot of guys on my channel showing you, you know, how to read the charts and how to take trades, how to look for proper setups so that you are not just blindly pretty much gambling, right? You're trading with an edge so that you can be pr consistently profitable. But anyway, so 10K, right? If you had 50K to trade, then you split 10K into five accounts, right? The 20% rule is a good way to not gamble when you trade so you're not tempted to you know just use your entire account for one trade the proper rule for trading is don't risk more than two to three percent of your account on any given trade so in this case the ten thousand dollar balance two percent is two hundred dollars not supposed to risk more than two hundred up to you if you want to follow that rule but regardless that is kind of the basic premises of risk management now how you actually trade with futures on the bottom of the screen you hit futures here so Let's go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now is trading for $23,029, $29,030. Let's say I wanted to long Bitcoin and let's go to my chart here. So let's say I wanted to long Bitcoin here and I wanted to get in at $22,800. Let's say I think the price is gonna drop down here to $22,800 at this orange line. So what I would do is I would use a limit order and for the price I want to buy it at, I would put 22800 all right? By the way, guys, I am on 18x leverage. Over here in the top right of my screen, you'll see 18x. Click on that. This here is where you are able to adjust the leverage of your trade, all right? If you're brand new, don't go higher than like 5x if you're brand new. But if you know what you're doing, you know, you can do whatever you want. This is your money, your capital, and this is not financial advice at all. You can go up to 125x leverage, but that is playing with fire, don't recommend that. I typically won't go higher than 20 to 30 if I'm really feeling a good trade. So anyways, we'll put it at 10X leverage right now, okay? And let's say you wanted to buy it at $22,800 and you wanted to use $1,000 of your margin, $1,000 of your 10,000 in your account. 
Then you would put your take profit and your stop loss. So let's say I wanted to put my stop loss beneath this wick. Okay, so that would be right around here at $22,350. Let's say I wanted to target the highs at 23,000. Let's say I wanted to target like 25K up here. Okay, so something like this. This is not financial advice. This is just for educational purposes only. But we know our entry is 22,800. We'll put our stop loss here at 22,350. So we check this box here that says TP slash SL. That stands for take profit slash stop loss order. Check that. Stop loss price, $22,350, right? Take profit price, $25,000, right? Now we're ready to place this order. That's all we need to do. This is literally all you need to do to trade on your phone. It takes a second to put this order in. You hit buy long, you confirm, you say I understand, you confirm, all right? Because this is a limit order, it will show up in open orders, okay? And as we can see right here, um, I can go ahead, I can adjust the take profit and stop loss orders. We can see here, if the, take, if the stop loss gets hit, I'll lose $194. If the take profit gets hit, I'll win $950. So that's better than a three to one risk reward. That's a pretty good trade. Not financial advice though, this is just for educational purposes only, right? So if you want to cancel that order, you just hit cancel. And now it's gone. If price comes down to 22,800, you won't get filled. You're not even, you don't have an open order, okay? So very simple. That's how you go long using a limit order. Now, if you wanted to go short, by the way, if you want to use a market order, it, it's the same exact thing. You just hit market order. It's going to fill you at the current market price you see on the screen. And you would also just put in your take profit and your stop loss. It would be the same thing. Stop loss 22,350, take profit 25K. You would hit buy long after you put in how much you want to go long with. If you wanted to use $1,000, you would hit buy long. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to enter the market right now with $1,000 on 10X. Uh, I just don't want to do that. I'm just making this video for educational purposes only. All right, so that's how you go long using a limit order and a market order. I'm gonna show you how to go short now. All right, so to go short, I like to use the trigger orders, all right? Use a trigger order if you're gonna go short. Now, let's say I wanted to go short on Bitcoin up here at the Monday high at $23,198. Okay, so that's gonna be my trigger price. My trigger price is going to be $23,000. $199, I would put the order, the, the price I want to go in at, at $23,200. $1 more than my trigger price. So what this means is that when price hits $23,199, the order will be activated to go short. And then when price goes up one more dollar at $23,200, my order will fill. Okay? That means I'll be in the trade. And here you put in the margin you want to put for the trade. So you can put $5,000, you can put $10,000, but that's gambling, right? So be smart about your risk management. You can put $1,000. And again, you would put a take profit slash stop loss. All you do is check that box. And if you wanted to put your stop loss up here at you know, 23,850 above that high, take profit at 20,000, just an example. Um, okay, right, we, we would hit sell short and confirm that. Again, it shows up in my open orders, trigger order here. And we can see, we can adjust the take profit and stop loss. So if this trade were to lose, I would lose $276. And if I were to hit my target at 20K, I would make $1,356. Why is that? How does this work? Well, I'm on 10X leverage. So that means for every 1% move in the price chart, if price moves up 1% and I'm long, because I'm 10x leverage, it multiplies that 1% by 10. So I would be up 10% in my position. If I was using $1,000 margin, I would be in $100 profit because that's 10% of 1,000. And it just went up 1%, but we're leveraged 10x. So every 1% is actually a 10% gain or loss that moves in price fluctuation. Very important to understand these concepts. This is how you go short using a trigger order. I don't really recommend to use market orders because that means you're just jumping into a trade right now and that's usually not a smart thing to do it's best to put your orders in place ahead of time wait for your levels and have them have the trade come to you but if you want it i'm going to cancel this order to go short again just for educational purposes only but if you wanted to use a market order to go short it would be the same thing you would hit market you would put in the, the amount of money you wanted to use for the trade you would put your stop loss right this is like twenty three thousand eight fifty. take profit i don't know 20k and then it's a market order, so you would just hit sell short, say I understand, and then if you wanted to take the trade, you would hit confirm, 
and it would fill you immediately. And like I said, every 1% the trade moves down, you're leveraged 10x right now. That leverage slider is in the top right of the screen. So that means for every 1% it moves down, you would be 10% of the profit. If you want to, you can go to like 30x leverage. So that means for every 1% price, price moves in your direction, you would be up 30%. This is how leverage really allows you to multiply your gains, or if you lose, you're going to multiply your losses too. So that's why, again, you need to be smart and you need to understand what you're doing here. But anyways, this is how you trade. This is how you go short using trigger orders, which I recommend you do if you go short, or a market order if you want to jump in right away. And also, I showed you how to long using limit and market orders. Very simple. One more time. You're mainly going to be using limit orders when you go long. So all you're going to want to do is put in the price you want your limit order to fill. You, it's going to be lower than pr current price if you're going long. So the current price is $23,015. You want to go long at $22,800. The amount of money you want to use for the trade. So if you wanted to use $1,000, you put $1,000 here. You always use a take profit and stop loss order. All right, so $22,500, for example, just lower than your entry price. And then your profit is going to be higher. So you want to take profit at $25K. And... Then you would hit buy long. I understand, confirm. Again, it shows up in open orders here in limit. And you can adjust your take profit and stop loss, see how much you would make or lose if the trade wins or loses. So anyways, guys, this was a quick tutorial video on how to trade with BitKit on your mobile phone. It's very simple to do. Be responsible, be smart, do not gamble trade with an edge in the market if you want to learn more about how to trade with an edge in the market i actually have a course on how to trade on my website cryptoempirecode.io and again if you have not created your bitget account yet go create your account use my link down in the description below i greatly appreciate your support so in this video i showed you step by step how to trade using your mobile phone on the bitget exchange a lot of people work at another job or they're on their feet all day and they need to use their phone to trade. Well, this is how you do it. Be responsible, but I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.